In this video, we're going to look at a slightly trickier Venn diagram problem. Um, a school offers three languages for GCSE, French, German and Spanish. All students are required to study at least two of these languages. 90% of students study French and 70% study German. 5% study all three languages. A student is picked at random. Find the probability that the student studies A, French and German, and B, Spanish. So in this situation, we actually have three circles for our Venn diagram. We have French, German, and Spanish. OK, so French, German, Spanish. And we've got a box around the outside. Now, one thing is clear. Because students are required to study at least two of these languages, there is no way that we could have anything outside of the three circles to start off with. And we could not have someone just studying French or Spanish or just German. And so the only three, or sorry, four boxes or bits that the Venn diagram will have actual numbers to go in are those four there, or numbers larger than zero anyway. Now we know that 5% study all three languages, and so this section can be 0 0.05. Okay, 5%. 90% of students study French. Okay, so if 90% study French, then this whole circle must add up to 90%. And so what is left over, because there's no other place for students to go, must be the remaining 10%. So this is 0.1. We're also told that 70% study German. So this whole section here must be 70%. And so this bit must be the remaining 30%. So 0.3. And so, because we've got three out of the remaining four sections, we can work out the final one by subtracting these three from one. So one, take away 0 0.3, take away 0 0.05, take away 0 0.1. So that's 0 0.45, that's 0 0.55. And so that is 0 0.55 there. So if I'm looking at the probability of a student being picked at random, well, students picked at random for the probability of them studying French and German. So French and German is where French and German overlap, and that's 0.55 and 0.05, so that's 0.6. And the probability of them studying Spanish, well, is 0.3 plus 0.05 plus 0.1, which is 0.45. Okay. Now, it's all down to reading the question carefully, because otherwise this question is quite, looks quite fiddly, okay? But it's all down to reading it very carefully.